Hello everyone, welcome to the fifth episode and the last episode of Takundacast. Takunda unfortunately couldn't make it due to some circumstances. Um, we will discuss that later. But uh, today we're going to introduce ourselves and every member's favourite colour. Okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is Seven Ground Melon and my favourite colour is black. My name is Dyslexic, and I like the gay pride flag. I know how to do it, alright. Oh, wait, what? Wait, hold on, Febby. Like hold on, Febby. <laughs> Jordan. Nadroj. Yes. A little bit of respect. We're reading out the names in order, and you're interrupting I'm just everyone. Going, I'm sorry. My bowl's retarded. Febster. My bad. <laughs> Hi, sorry, I'm Febster. It's okay. I'm Febster, and I like red. Pretty fucking yeah. Oh, that's a noisy word. What, what's your name? What's your name again? You cut out. Uh, fish aids. Fish, but they have aids. Uh, I'm Ivan as uh, BTB eight four five CBL, and my favourite colour is cerulean blue. Hello, my name is Riley. I'm today's special guest for episode five of Takunda Cast, and my favourite colour is red. Hello, I am Turbo Fisto, and I am child labour for KFC. Okay. <laughs> Kaylin. <laughs> Kaylin no, Reynolds. I'm Kaylin, and I have a dollar and 98 cents in my bank account right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting paid on Tuesday, by the way. Oh, starting yeah, off. Yeah, by Starting off, <laughs> Kaylin got a new job, everyone. Let's go. Kaylin got a new job. No one's clapping, okay. I can go to that, you tell I'm clapping, I'm just like not picking it up. Fuck! Oh, I broke myself. My clap. I didn't mean it. Kaylin, do you want to tell us about your new job? I just got a job, and yeah. And just as simple as that? Yeah. Out. Yeah, I'm a checkout chick. Checkout chick for life. Yeah, exactly. What do you do at your job? What do you mean, what do I do at my job? Like, you said you wanted to kill yourself, but here you are still living and now working. What's going on with that? Yeah. Oh, Jordan. It's called alcohol. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay, listen. Everyone here, put your hands up if you're not 18 in this podcast. I'm putting my hand up. Oh, okay. I'm so Riley, oh, wait. Riley's not here, so... Riley, how do you feel that everyone around you is verbosely drinking large quantities of alcohol and you are not? Only on weekends. I feel happy that I'm not getting premature fatty liver disease. <laughs> okay, mate. <laughs> okay, this, I'm so straight edge. I'm right. drug in my life. <laughs> I'm so straight edge. I could cut through a newborn baby. <laughs> what? Guys, I don't need to do the drug. I'm so I'm straight edge. I've got polka dots in my um, arm. No, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so like paper, what's it called glass colours. I swear to God. So straight edge. I'm, I'm taking too... my pants off right now. So Aaron, what's the first oh. topic? I'm so straight edge. I'm taking off Aaron. The first topic, the first topic is actually Riley. Welcome to the Tequinda Cast. Welcome to the. <laughs> Fifth and final Tequindacast is our special guest, the last special guest of Tequindacast. I just want to ask you, how excited are you to be talking with a bunch of degenerates today? Oh, mate, I'm <laughs> absolutely ecstatic. It's a pleasure to be a part of the final Tequindacast oh, of the first season. Honestly, I'm not sure it's something to be proud about as our employers in 25 years will look at this and probably send us to prison. Oh. But anyways, um, I sh crimes against humanity. Yeah, yeah basically, we're committing, <laughs> we're committing war crimes, essentially. Um, but I just want, would you like to introduce yourself? Just tell everyone what you're all about, uh, why you think you're the special, you're the last and truly worthy special guest of Tequindacast. Um, it's good right question. Just... Oh, let's see. So, f firstly... I know I've been wanting to be a special guest for a while, ever since the first episode. I'm a hardcore fan of Takunda Cast. I've watched every single episode, start to finish. Believe it or not, I've been, it was like going through hell and back. 
But yeah, here I am now, finally on the Takunda cast. Were you on the last one? Finally on the piece. He's a special guest. I'm a special guest. That was Caleb Reed that was last time, okay. Yeah, Caleb Reed was on the last one. Yeah, it's kind of a disappointment that some of the core founding members couldn't be on the Takunda cast today, but that's all right. We've got newly replaced people. To, who are doing a better job, I believe, than the oh, originals. Oh, oh, Whoa. damn. Shade. So we've got Jesus. some thoughts on Luca. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have some thoughts on Luca? We, we, we have some um, feedback. I heard, that, I heard that he has a quite enlarged organ of some sort. Excuse me? What? <laughs> This guy's no. oh, on my way to church. Oh, yes. Fucking what? What? <laughs> what? His biceps? Oh, okay, true. I, yeah, he has. He has, he has, he has yeah. <laughs> what, what did you think I meant? I thought his you meant liver. Like, his liver. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? You t- you're saying my boy has a big liver? That's fucked up. <laughs> no, I said he had big biceps. That's a compliment. Yeah, true. I would kiss his biceps. Yeah, he has a big, he has big biceps, but he's paying like five dollars a week. Yeah, and he's so. got a nine inch. Yeah, I was about to say he's paying for five dollars of petrol. Man, yeah. over in, he's in um, what's it called, America right now. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, really honestly, so, um, today we do have a lot of questions for you, Riley. But um, does everyone want to get into levers first? As that seems to be the biggest topic. And then... Hawkins. I'm jealous I didn't get Rufy. Okay, so let's let's talk about <laughs> levers. Let's talk about levers. <laughs> Why don't you start the conversation about levers? <laughs> Jordan, but, but, Jordan, I saw um... you at I saw you at levers a lot, and um... yeah, and I didn't get to see you, Jordan. Where were you for the whole time? I saw everyone Riley, else but you. Yeah, Riley saw everyone else. Can I start off the levers, yeah. section with a question for Riley? Why would you message me asking me to sneak you into Four Seasons through a hole in the fence then ask, <laughs> to fa- ask me if Tafara could use my car to sneak you in? Um, we'll see. I didn't realise that my green wristband was, was alright. I thought that they would have fallen <laughs> interrogated me, but yeah. Bro, I didn't need to. Did you I already had the green wristband. Did you realise someone who is related to you works at the front desk? <laughs> no, because she was actually on leave. Oh, classic. Well, she was she was talking to me and Chevy about knowing you. So yeah, she was. Was there. that on the Sunday? No. Yeah, this is the day we rocked up. Yeah, that was oh. her last day working before she had a break during leavers. Well, we've seen her walk around though. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh. Hold on. Someone's Liar. lying. Someone's lying. Well, who is lying? Shut up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I agree. I agree with Kalen. Oh, yeah. I need okay, water. I, oh, I, like I'm actually, I need water. I'm actually interested. I'm actually interested. Kalen, how was your levers? <laughs> <laughs> how about we ask Ben Strawn? Yeah, let's get him in here. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Everyone, give a big round of applause for Ben Strawn, who's going to be coming. Yay. Actually, he's no, he's not. Oh, I, I just wanted to see Kalen's reaction, but anyways. Um, Levers um, was good, but um, there was points, actually, and it was bad because um, I'll say one word, and one word only. Goon. Goon. Wait, I got a question. Who was it that was with Kali and Fisher? I didn't even. I saw. Her I didn't once. even realize she was down there. I, what I the saw. Fuck? Mm. I saw her once. She saw me and then put a look on the. Aaron, uh, Aaron, uh, Aaron. She asked. She asked me for my snap on the Instagram. Fucking oh. Charlie and Fisher. You lucky oh, man. man. What the I'm fuck? gonna be. I'm gonna be swimming in that. Let me tell you what, boys. Oh, Jordan, you're gonna look at this when you're 30, and you're gonna think oh, I was such a degenerate. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> No, he, all he has to man. do is look back to like he he'll be he'll be thirty and all he'll have to do is think back to twenty nine and think about how he's such a degenerate. Oh, 
Now, right, Con, I have to look at yesterday and I believe that. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Listen, Jordan, it's like I'm really eating ribs, bro. Jordan, I saw you at the zone a lot. Baby ribs. I saw you at the zone a lot. I saw you at the zone a lot as well. How was, how was the zone? If you could rate the zone a Damon Hawkins out of Brock Parry, what would you rate it? Matthew Shipley. Oh, he's a pretty good answer. Um, well, it does have like a little bit of like the let's say forcefulness of Brock Parry. Yeah. You know what I mean. Oh. I do get a lot of Ethan McKenzie vibes though. <laughs> that fucking guy. Yeah, and a little bit of like Jason Clarkson as well. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I I love all those guys. No homo. Easy. But I agree with you. Just keep your socks on. But no, it was, it was really nice. Like the colors are beautiful, and I like how like every time he's a wash bit, he would just stand still and just wave their hands in the air. Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was, I love that. It was beautiful. Yeah, and there was like a little bit of trance music, but not that much. No, there was like hardly any trance music. It was like in the in the in the other tent, like the said, smaller like tent, bit. the smaller tent. I went over and they were playing like a Tiesto remix for like ten seconds, and then they're like, uh when the bodies hit the boom boom floor and then they mixed it with Ari- <laughs> then they mixed it with like Ariana Grande and I was like what's going on yes <laughs> but yeah. yeah and then they oh, played yeah. some Mackie G oh yeah for like 2 minutes it was... they should have played some Ali G there i reckon the DJs were horrible like that's that's just me yeah they were horrible i reckon the DJs right anyone horrible. can be a DJ i could be one right now if i want Oh, that would be yeah. so bad. No yeah. balls. You wouldn't be a DJ. You are a right DJ. Now. He hosts Trance Around the World with Jordan Boyko. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah, subscribed see, to your sorry. YouTube channel, Turbo Fisto. Yeah. And I watched Thank all you. of your videos. They were pretty fucking hilarious. Thank you, Ali. Oh, just sent me a snap. Who sent you a snap? Nathan. Okay, Nathan. Oh, no. on, 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 the, on the topic of uh, those mosh pits and shit like that, there were several times where I climbed up on those big pole shits <laughs> and I had the DJ go, fucking get off from there, get off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they, they stopped the music and it's like, well, yeah. good, you're doing us a favour, thanks. Yeah. Uh, I was like, fuck. I was, I was literally just climbing it so I can look for someone. But it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Yeah, I know. But then they're oh, like, you... but they, they stop the music. Everyone boos them, and then if they go on, they go on to pretend like they're they're raving with people. It's like, no, you're not. No one likes you. Yeah. And their exact remixes on YouTube, by the way. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so they, they didn't even mix it themselves. No, we found me and Ben found them on YouTube. How were you sober enough to actually fucking listen to the song? Because we had to drive Chevy and Keen's drunk ass around sometimes. Oh, I want to talk about this. Daniel, I want you to share your experience. I drove for the first two days, and then Ben drove the rest. Ben Ben not leave? No, Ben didn't leave. He Chevy moved out. Oh, awesome. Even better. Chevy Uh moved out to go to Caden's house. Yeah. Caden, he slept on Caden's front porch. Yeah. And he kissed the Green Fairy and won their sex games. Yeah, what the fuck is a sex game? I heard about that. It's like squid night. games for sex. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just say it's fucking squid games, but sex? That's sex. No. No, no it wasn't like no, that. I'm sorry for the younger audience. Can't let no, me speak. Don't fucking apologize for no. nuisances. Don't, no. no. This is for the younger audience. Apologies, but the sex games was a thing that Caden's group did to see who could get with the most girls during levers. And Chevy won because he kissed the Green Fairy, and that's worth a thousand points. The Green Fairy, what's the Green Fairy? The Green Fairy. You didn't oh, see well, that. Have... Here we go. You don't don't worry. If you don't know the Green Fairy, you don't know the oh, Green, Green Fairy. Fairy. The Green Fairy. Yeah. Um, right. Give me a minute. I'll show you who the Green Fairy is. Oh, oh keep have... her identity private. Mate. What? Nah. Oh, look, we just name drop like 50 people. I don't think the yeah, Green no, Fairy listen, has... Listen, listen, the Green Fairy, I can I can block out the Green Fairy if you want me to block out the Green Fairy. Oh, no one knows who the Green Fairy is. That's, oh, why, it's a, that's why she's I'm a fairy. 
Yeah, but I know who I know who the tooth is now. I know who the tooth fairy is. Oh, <laughs> it's Adam Sandler. What the fuck? The, so the green fairy. Adam Sandler was the tooth fairy. Was a thousand uh -huh. points. That was a thousand. Yeah. Points. Yeah, and I think, I think like just getting with a chick was like. 10 why, is he, why is he proud of that? I don't know. Ten. It was 25. I don't know. Is that a guy or a girl? Was he getting paid money for it? No. No. Oh, so he it was just earn, like... He gets to earn their respect. Yeah. By kissing that green. Well, I don't think he's, he's lost mine. <laughs> yeah. Wait, who that's, was it? That's I'm not loss. looking at the fucking that's Discord. It was Chevy. No. I don't care. I think that was pretty funny. No, who was the green fairy? Do you hear? It was some random, yeah. She's quite yeah. round and... That was green hair. Oh, right, green good job, hair. Chevy. You won, Chevy. Yay! Yeah, good you're job, Chevy. Just no, Hunter, you're just jealous you didn't win. Yeah, you're, you're just mad you, you didn't. At least Chevy's kissed a girl. <laughs> That's oh, true. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, incubated. Someone's been incubated. Holy crap. Jeez, are you, are, you, going back to Halo are, now? are you an egg from like Pokemon Black? Jeez, you just got incubated, man. <laughs> what? what the hell? What the fuck? Whoa. God and Voinkle has returned. Okay. Oh my fuck. Okay. Game over. So, wait. I just. So, Daniel. Yes. You, you said that. Can you just describe why Chevy left? Because I don't. I still don't understand why Chevy left. Because everyone loves it. I love him. On I the first, the first, the first night of the zone, right? Yeah. We were, they were, they were. I stayed sober. They were having a few drinks. They were having fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got, we got yeah. in line, because at this point, this was the first night. There was no lines, like no line for the zone. It was just push your way into the bus and get mm -hmm. on. So we were standing in line, the four of us, and Chevy kept whispering to us, saying like, "Oh, I hate him. Oh, he's so annoying. Let's leave." Because Ben was talking to a few people apparently that Chevy didn't like, and Ben was talking quite loud. Chevy didn't like that, so then um, we walked around the other side because that's where we thought the bus would stop. And then Keen said, "I need to piss," so Keen pissed on the fence. And Ben said, "I need, I also need to piss. I will be back. I'm going to go to the toilet," he said. So we're like, "All right, we'll wait for him," and then. Next minute, you know, Chevy has pulled us all by the shirt and pulled us onto the bus, and we left Ben behind. And the whole way there, Chevy was not happy with Ben. He's, oh no, we gotta leave him, leave him so obnoxious. I hate him. He's so annoying. He's getting on my nerves. On my... So then, when we got there, it, it took Ben two hours to get to the zone because he couldn't get on any more buses. He got there. He screamed at me. Then I later found out he was joking. But then mm. he he screamed at Chevy while Chevy was attempting to get with a girl. I thought this was go down, by the and way. Score, and um, scared the girl off, and Chevy was fuming. Oh, no. So they got back, and they were like, I'm moving out, I'm moving out, everyone's moving out. And then at this point, I was, I was home. We were all home. They had all given me their keys. So I had all their keys. So none of them can get in their cars. So they they mm. all and I was sitting at Ben Marrow's house talking to them, mm. and they all wanted their keys back. And that's pretty well the end of the story. Chevy right, who just wanted moved their keys the back? Ben. All of them, Mitchell, everybody. They wanted had their to all keys, leave. So. No, Ben wanted to leave, but he never came back for his keys. Chevy wanted his keys because he was going to leave. Mitchell just gave his keys because he gave his keys. Oh. But no, and then later that morning, Chevy said, I'm moving to Cadden's, bye. <laughs> but every morning and every night, he still came around for dinner, though. Yeah, he came to Dinner scared. and breakfast. He, he thought we were going to cook him dinner and breakfast, even though he wasn't on our campsite. He yeah. still he still expected it. And did so, you get to uh, No. We added bro, it. Bro, get the Red Frogs to do that. We were, no, no, we had a mad cook up. We had oh, let's uh, red frogs after this. Oh, no, we had um, Caitlin, Xavier, we had mm. Indy, Jacob, and Ben Mara. Then it was me, Jack, Ben Sorge, Mitchell, 
and key, and we were all there, and we were just cooking sausages, eggs, bacon, toasted buns. It was the best thing. All we lived up each morning. Well, son. <clears throat> that's the Sounds end of good. my segment. I Not as good it. as living off tuna and tomb noodles, though. Oh. No. Who's yeah. living off that? Who do you think? Right. Okay, something that oddly specific. Who do you think? Yeah. I, I I kept forgetting to eat, so I probably went like a week with only yeah. eating. How do you like, forget? Me oh, too. No, 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 Khan. 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 Khan, I know, I know exactly how you feel. Like, yeah. exactly. Bro, exactly. Khan, we ate like fucking nothing. Our group had nothing, man. Aaron, the only yeah. time I think I ate was in meat box, like with you and Oh, Hunter. yeah. That's like, that was like my biggest... That was like the only meal I had. That was like my biggest meal. And then Can after we talk? that... And then after that, I was like... Yeah, Aaron, all you ate was toast. All you ate was fucking toast. In the morning, yeah, that was it. Yeah. Can we talk about how much did you guys spend on food before you guys, like, either Not down much. there or there to buy groceries? No, that was I my meal. Zero, zero dollars. I was down there for three... I was down there for three days and I spent $400. What? Yeah. What the fuck? Daddy, did you have like a personal chef? What yeah, that's the what we did. We I was spent $400. In the house. I was sitting in the house. For, uh-huh. I was sitting in the house for like with like, Seth and all them. Ooh, and so I ended up Connor buying Hazelby. them food. Excellent. Yeah, Connor Hazelby and all them. I ended up buying like uh, like a whole lot of fruit, like two meals or whatever. But I didn't care. It was right Because I didn't like... Because we were trying to calm some people down. What the fuck, Caleb yeah. Reed? How are you, man? Hello, Caleb Reed. Late Sorry, entry right. to the Tukunda cast. How are you? I'm good, thank you, Riley. No, Caleb Reed's our super sub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. But yeah. So that's what we had to do. But yeah, we had to sort out some stuff. You know, just wanted to make sure everyone was eating so no one was fighting or anything. Ah. Sorry. Sorry. Um, my bad. No one was fighting, um, Caleb, because, uh, you know, the amount of chairs at the dinner table, you know, just... Yeah. You, you no, had to have, yeah, yeah, that was the awkwardest you, thing. You had to have enough chairs at the dinner table for everyone to sit down. I'm yeah, just saying, I think, I think there was like a famine in like Don's Bride. I, like, there was like no food at fucking all, bro. I'm just That's saying. Just you. And like a loaf of bread was like thirty dollars. I mean, everything was so overpriced there. Fuck me. Like we did go through a famine for like that one Jordan, week. I swear, Jordan, mark my words. Because well, Jordan, down you... south the economy thrives of pond believers. <laughs> down south, yeah. like, legit, it's a massive economy. You spent the boost. most amount of money that week. Does anyone have how much they they think they spent? Like oh, a roundabout? I can, I can probably. We, um, I know I spent the lowest about ten dollars. Uh, <laughs> Aaron, if you think about accommodation, did we spend the most? No, no, not accommodation, like food and drinks. That's it. Like, not accommodation, oh, just like food and stuff. Oh, I barely spent anything, so I'm good. Yeah, I'm Our barely... group complained probably spent about 700 The The most expensive Mine? we had, Aaron, was probably the pub meal. Yep. First mm-hmm. night. Yep. Just yeah, like me, Keith, like, Ben, and all that like... drinks and food. Yep, no, so oh, Hunter, works. I'd say 150 for me. Less than for me, even. But Hunter, how did you buy all your alcohol then? Oh, alcohol. How much did I buy? 68 plus 18. Uh, 80. Six grand sorry, worth. 84. You bought six grand worth. No joke. No. No You spent $84 for the whole week. Yeah. Yeah. What did you buy? Cracking rum goes a long way. Oh. Well, when you have one bottle and you only drink two nights, yeah, it goes a long way. Fair oh, enough. Okay, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, you also drink a lot. Yes. Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> Raging alcoholic. <laughs> Raging yeah. alcoholic. Let's uh move on. What's the next topic? Oh, the next topic is Febby. How was it in the, <laughs> in the peace and quiet of your home? And you do, honestly, I just want to say say Febby, you are you are blessed to not go down there. It was it was a shithole. Okay, I just you want to watch the, the world burn. You down there. You, yeah, you got to watch the world burn. All right. Yeah, legit. How was it? Yeah. Down, down, down um, at the zone, the energy there was just dead. Yeah. Was like, good. as soon as you got there, it was just dead. If anything, yeah, every yeah. now and then, I'll just check Snapchat and I'll just see pictures of Ronan yeah. sleeping on the grass and everyone taking selfies with him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I like- I, I, what I could say is you can't have fun at Levers at all without doing, like, any sort of, like, drug or, like, alcohol or anything. Like, you can't be sober during Levers. I thought it's boring as no. shit. 
No, don't don't even that that even as straight. Don't even under the influence, up. it was still boring. No, I'm not. It wasn't. What no, I had mean? such a good time with oh. it. You kidding me, Riley? Yeah, no, shit. I, I had the best time of my life. If I could go back to leave as I could, Wednesday, I would. Wednesday was like my like most favorite one. And like the yeah. first night was on fucking blue car was running. Someone was hurled over the toilet in your house or straight up on the first night. Oh, that, that, was, that was Jordan. He's oh, yeah, was the best night. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> I agree with him, bro. That was bad. Was yeah, it? Uh, was. Yeah, I I, 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 I have to disagree. I, I found it to be horrible. Same. I found it, it to be. Horrible. I found it to be. If was... I could, if if I could get those whatever five days back from my life, I, I would. I honestly. I would have gone. I would have gone home on the Wednesday or the Tuesday. If I could have gotten the eight hundred dollars worth of accommodation back, I would. Yeah. Would have. I mean, the accommodation was not my yeah. favorite life. No, nah, I had way too much fun. I wouldn't. I'd Look, do that I went, again. Yeah. I went down. Like, so yeah. I didn't go the first two days, and I went Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I must say, I only enjoyed it when I drunk on one of the nights. Every other yeah. night was pretty bad. Exactly. exactly. You got lucky yeah. that um, Ben gave you his wristband. I know. I tried to give it back to him multiple times, but he just didn't want it. Like I was more than happy just to stay uh, at the house. And me and him out. didn't go back. Me and him just Did you not go back go after no. you came back to Wales? No, we never went back to the zone. Oh, well, I thought you went that night that he gave it to me. No, we never went back. Oh, that's why he didn't want it back because we weren't going back. Yeah, the first night, the first night I actually got drunk or whatever. Like I tried, I got a UTI. So <laughs> uh, <icky>. <laughs> <laughs> And then I I ended up spending I, I went to the zone which is the worst mistake of my life I should have never gone to the zone I should have stayed in Bustleton I I went to the zone and I had to j sneak into the uh, accessible toilets you know the the ones near the info desk yes I had to sneak into those through the fence and I basically sat on those toilets for like two two and a half hours that's rough. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. And then I went to emer I went to emergency and I was an emergency to one. And they they yeah. they thought I was lying. They thought I had, they thought um they asked me STI questions and they thought I was lying, so they did blood oh. tests on me. Jeez, on oh, yeah. no. Well, yeah, no. I I suppose if you're having to fucking do all that, you probably wouldn't enjoy your labors. But I I went to the zone. Hey, okay. The when you have your thing. own house, though, when you have your own house, that like you've got no, you're not on Four Seasons campsite or something. Where you'd be bitten I, by yeah, a but million. I would have already. rather been on Four Seasons campsite. I, uh, yeah, I, I would have. I want to be in my River, own house. Margaret River. Was, Margaret River was, was so far. Was, yeah. It was so yeah, Four Seasons exactly. was where it was at. For, wait, bus wait, guys wait, on yeah. the time, it wouldn't have been half as bad. No, yeah, no, no. No, that's just, that's our problem as well. We we had the fucking bad bus. I'm just saying, yeah. I don't know about you, Khan. I felt it was way too far. Like, I couldn't... Uh, yeah, yeah, no, exactly. If you, were, if you were to it rebook way accommodation, far, it yeah. would definitely be at Four Seasons yep. or Amalfi yep. Resort. Yeah, I'm I'm would, actually, no, no, no. I would, I, would have booked, I would have booked where Riley's uncle lives. I would have just booked that house. Okay. If I was to redo yeah. it, I would have booked near a year and a half earlier. Yeah, yeah no shit. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to tell you guys like, that, but you didn't listen. No, Riley. Riley, you, didn't, you, Riley. Booked, Riley, you were the last one that booked. The only reason you went was because your uncle lived down there. What do you mean? <laughs> My whole family lives down there. Yeah, yeah. so what do you mean? Um, um, yeah. Do you remember we had the great divide of our groups? Yes. Oh my. Remember that? The, 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 that... the grand schism. It was yeah. a great divide. We split in half. Yeah, we, remember went, that? we went to book a house, That's what split and us then apart. Chevy was like, okay, so you lot have to book this other house. This house is just for, like, this side of the group. Yeah. You yeah, I know. This other house separate. Mm -hmm. But we could uh, I know. It, 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 it just made it so personal. Well... You are right, Khan? I think she's yeah. cut out. He got assassinated. Oh, like, sad. I, <laughs> yeah, I was, he rocked up for the block. I, I was gonna say, like, I was gonna say that whole levers thing, right? We, I, I, I remember saying in November, oh, I, I remember in November, November. we had, we had <laughs> that group. Up to we had that group in November, that group chat in November, and we, we all said, we all said, 
were going to this was like it was like year year 11 yeah year, year 11 year 11 fourth, fourth term we were talking about it when you invited us over to the pool yeah yeah remember that yeah. When, when we when we did the pool day and we're talking you know we're gonna we're gonna make a group chat and then we're going to do it right that, that was yeah, and that, yeah wait happened. what what group was this like um, remember when we were we, gonna go to the pool we were at aaron's pool no nah, wait that's to go that day that's the uh, one thing that i've uh, yeah, we went to that and, we were, and I was like, we said to we were all talking, we're like, okay, we'll start booking our accommodation now. Yeah, so you don't so we're not left at four seasons and a fail failure led us back to four seasons. So, well, the, the, the issue was the issue was is that there were people like Chevy who didn't actually want a house in the end. Yeah. They, they actually he wasn't settling for a house, even though he said. He, He's going to book a house. He said he wasn't going to settle for a house and he wanted to go camping. I remember, yeah, him, okay. I did... I remember him saying that literally to the group. No, I don't, I want, I don't want to go. I don't want to sleep in a house. It's, it's levers. So yeah. Boy, can we all agree that, that camping is like the worst thing Caden. ever? You want to be on Caden's no, camp. No, I like camping. I love camping. Can we agree that camping yeah. is pain to be homeless? No. <laughs> He wanted to, yeah, we he can't, wanted to be with the fly. I wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't want to do it on levers is the thing. Because like, yeah, I, not, I, yeah, no. I just want to pass out in a comfy bed after being drunk yeah. for a whole night. I don't, I don't regret going to, to the my chalet. I do not regret that. Yeah, well, exactly. out of the park isn't people, nice. Right, and you sort out before you go, and you stay like maybe like half an hour away, right, and then you work out who's driving when, it's okay. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, you know. Like, but... And then you... This is Go. what people don't understand, right? Khan, about our whole thing in my group. Oh, sorry, Hunter will know this because we experienced this together. We, oh, we God, got, we here we back. go. We are told that at 12.30, it was it 12.30, strict departure? Yeah, it's strict yeah. departure, 12.30. We were told well, that, our, that our private bus was going to leave at 12.30, strict departure. No no other time. It, it was going to be 12.30, we get up and go. But no, Answer we have one. to wait for the Mujahideeni boys to finish getting laid, and then that takes until like one fifteen, one thirty. Then we leave, and then it's a forty-five minute bus ride from Dunsborough Town to Margaret River. So by the time I get back to my chalet, I can barely fall asleep. So it would have been, mm. been better to just go camping because at least I would have been still tired. I wish yeah. I went to Southern Star. Would have been nice Southern. to sleep on the floor. Yes. Southern, yes, Southern Jordan. Star looks it fun. Fucking uh, like hate oh. camping. It's such a rip off. I just wouldn't want to do it on levers. If I do yeah. it any other day, but fuck doing it on levers. Yeah. And didn't Jake so, Cornelius yeah. go like fishing on like your first day or some shit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that looks that looks good. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Yeah. He went up <laughs> week, he went up two days early. Oh yeah, no, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, fuck, how yeah. do you know he went two days early and Jesus? He, he, he put it on his story his and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he went so he could take his bong with him. <laughs> well we ended up taking ours anyway, so yeah. Oh, like, uh, no, uh, ended up anything. bringing those, yeah. Yeah, the Rick and Morty covered one. I'll stop then. Mm. No, the... Rick and Morty. Oh, do you hear that? Pickle Rick. Do you hear that? Um, what's it called? Um, as as we were driving, someone passed a drug test, even though oh, they were smoking the night before. Yes. I'm not gonna drop names, Jordan. Yes. Fuckhead. Um, <laughs> mute that, Aaron. Yeah, not on this one. I heard about that. <laughs> Enter it. Censor yeah. it. I, I don't no, censor things. I, I, I don't censor things. It, it was, it was, was not system fully then. It was, it was the night before, and he'd done it. Um, was he shitting himself? Oh, fuck yeah. Everyone in the car was. But they were like... Did someone text nah. me who? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Um, yeah. He's sitting there, and he's shitting himself, and we're like, nah, we're done. We're losing our license. We're having to fucking walk to the ticket sales, uh, wristband sales. And then uh, with pure fucking luck, we passed it. Even though we fessed up to it as well. We were like, nah, we'd, we'd all done this. At, like to the cop. He's like, what? 
What the fuck? I was like falling asleep in the car, and then what happened? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jordan. Oh. Why, why did you oh face up to the car? Yeah. Because he's like, had you? And they were like, yeah. He, he's like, have you, have you touched any marijuana or amphetamines? We're like, not any amphetamines. <laughs> he's like, naughty boys. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to have to do, we're going to have to do this. And it was really nice about it, but it was still really funny. Like, yeah. Well, if, he po- if Luca tested negative, it doesn't matter what he says. He can't do anything about it. That's exactly what happens. Yeah, we yeah. came out you, negative. You just name dropped, dickhead. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. God. Huh? How did I That's miss real. that? You missed it again. It was on the first day. Mm. How did I know that that would happen to you guys? You agree, I don't know, Riley. I guess you're psychic. I guess you <laughs> have gold, golden orbs in your balls that tell you the future. <laughs> something. Riley <laughs> activated his chakras. Yes. Okay. Can we, can we move on to Riley's chakras. questions? <laughs> Love to see those signs. Wait, I, 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 I still have one more question. Enough. I, I actually, okay. I genuinely still have one more question to ask about about yes. Legos. And yes. It's it's about Nathan Mullen. Yes. And I, I want to know why Nathan oh. Mullen left. Because um, when did he leave? Oh, oh, I know when did he one. leave? I know this one. I know this wait, one. Wait, <laughs> when did he leave? I forgot one about this. Wait, wait. He left on the he left on the second day, right? Because oh. because he um he was following Corbin and Kayla and all that around. And then they all ditched him. Then he got ditched again by Jack Ryan and Kiara and all that. He got ditched by them at Macca's. And then Damn. he got ditched by Dakunda. So then apparently he's, he was talking to his mum or something and he just came home because he's getting ditched too much. And he was not having a good time. Oh. That's not very Jesus. nice. Jesus. That's the summed up right? version. That's the summed up version. That's Caleb, not very well. Caleb, under my wing. Caleb? Yeah, why'd you ditch him? Yeah, why would you ditch him? He's actually a good bloke. I did not. Yeah. Wait, Caelan, wait, your mic is very... Caelan was... Caelan... Caelan was in an any state to make decisions. He went exactly. in an ambulance one night, so... Wait, hold on, hold on. Could I... I just want to... I just want to hear Caelan talk, because I can't actually hear him. I think he got mad at me, because, um, I said... Because he bought a 10 pack of condoms and I said it was a waste of money. I wouldn't shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I just, you did. You are definitely the reason he fucking left. Yeah. People were doing as funny as that is, me. it's kind of mean. <laughs> I'll find you a fucking joke. It was oh, yeah, I, I, yeah. But Nathan wouldn't take that. It's fucking Nathan Muller. He's not going to take that as a joke. Okay. No, Do you not yeah. realize that Caleb was just, just telling him the truth? It is a waste You're of money. An asshole, Dan. That's like Riley. That's like Riley buying condoms so oh. he can tell the guy that's raping him to put them on. Because <laughs> yeah, because I'm a virgin for life. That's, <laughs> that's right. Okay. That's it, why I just get free ones. Yeah, Riley. I got free ones. I got like free. Ken, free. Ken hooked me up. He gave me four for free. Exactly. Oh, really Daniel, right. Daniel, let's not talk about your blunders. Okay, let's not talk about your blunders. Who's your blunders? Wait, what? Talk about your blunders. Daniel what the fuck? Sorry, I'm gonna leave the call. I'm going to leave the call. Oh, no. Daniel, Daniel, you're too busy being mean to others, but yet you cannot accept your own card. Yeah. A special guest no, is pointing it out. It's touchy ground. Yeah? No. So, let's just talk Bradley, about the girls on the, on the you're road. You're touchy ground. Bradley, I will fuck you and not wear a condom. That oh, is shit, not very is. consensual, so I'm still a virgin. For life. No, no. <laughs> Going in raw, no rubber. I will make it consensual. No, you will not. I will. Fall. I will. That's not very nice. That's yeah. not very consensual. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be getting ads on this video. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Let's, let's get all the players out of the way. I'd like to start the Riley questions now. Okay. Please. So, Riley is everyone questions. happy to start the Riley questions? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Riley, I'm excited. Riley, oh okay. yeah, can we can we take turns saying them? Ah, uh, yes. Can I'm I, gonna yeah. say can the, first, I one, the first one. I'm, oh. No, we're gonna go in order, so name order. Okay, on Discord. Okay. Order on Discord. Can we just That's choose a random bad. question, or no? Yeah. No. Nah, right. In like... order, Riley, yeah. you have to do it in order. 
Riley. Are these like yeah. pre-made yeah. questions, or can you just make them up? No, no they're, they're they're trying to listen to the Riley first question. question. So, no. Riley, there have been fifteen questions that have been asked. Actually, sixteen. Yes. Uh, actually, no, seventeen uh, questions that people have asked you. Are you ready for the first one? I'm ready. K Jizzle asks, "Can we get a full rundown on the truth behind the COVID vaccine plus semen retention?" <laughs> oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Firstly, well, co the COVID nineteen oh, vaccine. There are various different types, which is a breakthrough in science, making a new type of vaccine called mRNA or recombinant DNA technology basically where it involves altering your DNA to produce an immune response to, yeah, what the mRNA does is it builds the spike proteins and you have an immune response to those spike proteins. But the real issue be behind all this anti-vaxxers versus vaxxers behind the vaccine is one, why, why are we being mandated it if it's safe? If it's safe, then we should all just have the option to get it and it, we will enjoy it. Two, is it going to have any side effects from altering our DNA? Or Riley, mRNA which, does not alter your DNA. Let him answer DNA. the question. Let him answer I'm the answering the question, Hunter. This is, Shut up. This is not a, tr a one whole truth approach. We are, I'm approaching various many perspectives. Yes, good, it's, good, good. it's obvious to the scientific community that mRNA does not affect your DNA, but the fact that it uses it uses external ribonucleic acid to make an immune response is what concerns a lot of people who do not understand it, Hunter. Thank you very much. You uh, you said it. Thank you. Yeah. Now, semen retention. Yes. Now, semen retention is very popular in pseudoscience and a lot of and a lot of things. Basically. The border, the borderline reason why semen retention is so supported by me is not really holding your semen in because that's biologically impossible, really, for, unless your body is adapts to a lack of, you know, stimulation. Big sex. Yeah. But the reason why semen retention is so big is because of porn addiction, or addiction to, you know, sex, masturbation, all that. Okay. And yeah, like with most addictions, dopamine just floods the brain and makes any hard tasks that you do in your life feel so much harder to do. So that's why I'm a big fan of it. Mm. Next Very question. Nice. That's quick. That was or would really, you like me to elaborate that, more? That was a really insightful response. Does anyone have any comments? That was... Um, no. No. No? Do, are we no, saying the good. name of the person who asked the question? Yes, we are. And we're going yes. from okay. left to right. And yep. then, yep, in the first image. Yep. So, Riley, Ethan Ho would like to know, did the condoms go to waste? Why would I th throw them out into the environment? No, he means... No, like, like, did you use them or were they used? Yeah. Are they still there today? Yes, because I'm a virgin for life. I would never use them. No, so they didn't go to the waste, they were like there the to man. protect. He's talking about like the man, did the man get down and use them? What do you mean the man? Well the man oh, you were trying to protect you yourself you. from. Oh like there was a man trying to chase me? I didn't even realise. No, the man you were trying to protect yourself from at the shops, remember? You said I'm getting these so for protection? Oh, I didn't say that at the shops, no. Daniel's talking out of his fucking ass. Anyway, your, we, I swear on your story, you your, said you're getting them to protect no, yourself. Bum, bum, Daniel's bum, bum, So you can bum. stay a version of he your life. He yep. has holes in his brain from sniffing glue. Anyway, can someone ask the third question? Oh, uh, Fabi? No, 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 no. no Daniel's not a version of life. Defending him. He says, just for clarification, the condoms are just in case I get raped. Yeah. So Daniel's okay. right. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Uh, yeah. So then you can't be a virgin. Yeah. 
Come in a cup. Mm. I could adopt a child. We could come in a cup. No. I'm not yeah, having he, I he have a child. Uh, just sex he, if you got married. He yeah. wouldn't come, period. But that affects the virgin for life statement. No, it well, affects the semen. The well, life. your life is over after you get married. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Oh, I keep swearing. I'm so sorry, Aaron. That's right. No, you can you can swear. It's just when we start talking about get... like Michael's head. Racial bias. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Fair back enough. to the question. All right. Next, I'm a virgin for life yeah. unless I'm married. Okay. Uh, excellent. <laughs> Religious okay. reasons or no? Thanks so for the clarification, Riley. Um, I kind of do not want to bore you and. With a ten-hour essay on that, uh, I think you should. Oh, I think you should bore I think, us with I think a ten-hour essay. I think this that. podcast this would go on for long enough. Hmm. Let's keep, see. Keep going. We, yeah, it's the we, final okay. to cast. Long story short, religious and spiritual reasons. What a shit reason. Fair, fair. <laughs> what? Who <laughs> said that? Who Is said that? Caitlin Reynolds. Wait, Caitlin. Oh, wait, Kaylin. 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 Yeah. What? At least I respect everyone, my virginity. Everyone stop, everyone stop. <laughs> What's that supposed Kaylin, to mean? Kaylin, <laughs> Kaylin, <laughs> Kaylin. I don't spend it on some no. hooker. Oh, I did not Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, or some that girl hooker. from Fremantle is a very nice lady. She... <laughs> yeah, her Suzuki <laughs> Swift is very good. Yeah, the backseat of it reeks of cum and piss, but she's a very nice lady. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. You're sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a nice pair of personalities, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jordan. Terrible. Jordan, this is why you're joining me in the Virgin for Life month. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Off. <laughs> a bit too late for that. I, tr- I tried to get Kalen to problem. embrace that life, but he chose otherwise. But that's okay. That's his choice. Maybe exactly. can you ask the third question, please? I really want to hear this question. answer. Let's move on. No, so, 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 wait, so everyone, shush. Our third question from Connell Hazelby: Will orienteering ever be considered a real sport? For fuck's sake! Of course, <laughs> oh this God. question was asked. <laughs> I feel like Mason Eves would be a bit more of a respectable opinion, but because you asked me specifically, yes. <laughs> when well, I what, die. What, what considers just a real sport a real sport though? Yeah. yeah the like the, e-sport the e-sport International e-sport. Olympic Committee. I have to disagree. Because slapping is considered a sport, you know what I mean? Yeah, it is. True. How slapping <laughs> is a Romanian Chess thing, is considered, considered a sport. A sport. Then I have, might put... I have a side note. Yeah, go on. Aaron, you told me of a brand new sport the other day. Yesterday, in fact. What was that sport? Do you remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You sent me a. I said, I said emptying. I said when you empty your bowel, it's kind of like a sport. (laughs) That's considered a sport. And who empties it the fastest or most painful? What? What What is a sport for me? Bebby, you should be defending me. You've legit done it yourself. I only been in it once in year six. Yeah. And did you enjoy the exercise? (laughs) <laughs> no, we, no, we all did ori- no, we all did orienteering in year seven experience. No, yeah, year eight wasn't it? Year eight, year nine, and I seven. actually didn't do it though. It rained. No, it I was on the day of rain, well, so we didn't actually do it. We, you know, we, we had to do it in the rain. Oh, we, had, oh. we, yeah, we no. got to let we to go to, swim to in the pool the in the rain. I thought we were doing Yeah, in year oh. ten, we had to do that. And year ten as well, year ten retreat. There was year ten and seven. We did it. Yeah, year 10, year 7, and year 9 out to Red Camp. I don't remember doing that. No, we did it anyway. Red. Yeah, we, we did it in year 9 out to Red. No, I didn't do it to Red. Yeah. Yeah, so that was only for those who chose it as a subject. <laughs> Orienteering is for fags, end of story. Wait, so what's it like considered right now? If it's not just... Daniel, oh, do I you do any say. forms of sport? No, he sits in his room uh, and plays Destiny all day. Do you sit... Yes. 
I exercise oh, my, my hand muscles. You, yeah, if you exactly. can consider uh, esports a sport too. That's no, fair. no. no express checkouts is, a good question. is a good a, question. what's called a sport. Express uh, checkouts. Yes, sir. I'd like to see that in the Olympics, like just two checkout chicks, like going really, really fast. Like you also versus Kayla Reynolds. Who wins? Who wins? Me. <laughs> I got more experience. Correct. Locking up the definition of sport. Reynolds yeah, is on the so I can do this deep analysis for Connor Hayes to win. No, because I got that I got that talk game too. Here really? is the Daniel? definition of a sport. Yeah. Sport is an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against others or others for entertainment. I, oh, so I compete against the other checkout chicks for entertainment. Competing, yeah, against so competing against the other checkout chicks is a sport. I compete against Mason Eve, so that's a sport. Hey, can I please ask the fourth question, Aaron? No, that's me. No, that's that's my one. That's that's it's Khan. That's Khan. We're yeah, going to uh, I would like to hear Khan tell me the next question. <laughs> All right. What's the size of park? Oh, Shut the fuck up, Reynolds. <laughs> I'll be on your face. Not even. Sounds like it's up your ass right now. Yeah, it's dumb. No. Anyway, can I can I wait? Once Reynolds fixes his mic, I'm gonna... what's the next question? Well, before Khan says it, can I please say the Kiara one? No. You go in no. order. <laughs> you go in well, order. Later on. Later on. I just want to shock on that one. What is the next question? What do you mean? Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Khan. Can. Luke Boxo asked, wait, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Riley McFarlane. Luke Boxo asked, are gay people real? Yes. Oh, really? Explain. Controversial. Controversial. Explain. Um, ex yeah, do elaborate. A elaborate. male is a male attracted to a male or a female attracted to a female? Uh, just in general. Well, one's gay and one's lesbian, so... Interpret the question. Oh my god, Hunter just, Hunter, okay. A person is a homosexual who expresses their attraction between the are same real, gender though? or sex. The are same chromosome, the same 23rd chromosomes. Yes, it's real. In my yeah, opinion, yeah. it's real. It's real, get real. <laughs> yeah, get real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what does it mean if they're fake? Does it mean they're like crisis actors or something? Or what, like... Just all paid actors. Like, <laughs> like, you know, like in America, when they, or they, some of them think that we're all paid actors right now. Yeah, Just trust acting. Shut up. Trust me, Luke Boxel. I'm an educated man. You can trust me, my opinion. Gay people oh, are real. Oh, man. Oh, damn right. You're all right. Um, He's definitely not on the dole from Centrelink paying him to say that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Just because somebody's on the doll. Ah, Who's on the doll? Ah, Khan's on the doll. I'm on the doll too. What's wrong with being on the doll? You're on the doll? Yeah, oh. but I'm about to start working, like, legit next week, so... Get off the doll. Yeah. Waster, waster, doll. waster. Yeah. Doll budger. I take your taxes and smoke next <laughs> with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> taxes, um, why are you such a waster? I receive taxes, you receive paying taxes. <laughs> What's the next question? I want to hear the next question. Next. <laughs> Hunter. Uh, Hunter, you're I'm next. Not, Tell no, me I the don't. next question. I'm kind of busy, so someone can take mine. No, no you oh, have no. to. No, you okay. have to. Tell well, me the next give me question. a minute to turn my phone back on and pause fucking Halo Infinite. Why, why, why are you playing why? Halo Infinite during the game? I knew, game. I, knew game. Game. I knew it. Why are you playing a game? To could... Tukunda Cast is a very important have podcast. ADHD. No, but why are you playing a game? I want to read Kiara's one. My, no, I what's his name? Whoever's Kiara's was. one is in order. I want to read that one. I Wait, shot him. I am I reading one. Luke Boxer's next one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Luke Boxer, how do I come overcome my porn addiction? Um, just stop watching. Awesome. How? 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 Would you, you like, like me to go in depth? Yes. Yes, yes, yes Riley. 
Yes, you go cold jerky. Yes, cold you get, you get cold. explicit content website blockers if you really have a lack of willpower, and you go outside and do other physical exertion to move blood away from that area, and yeah. Well, or you do right. other stuff like scroll through Instagram for hours. Uh, that's not cool? really recommended. Or find right. another thing that distracts you, like playing games or working or exercising to get that dopamine rush. Because that, that, at the end of the day, that's what porn addiction feeds uh, off of. What happens if you see a hot girl um, on your Instagram or on social media when you're scrolling? What happens then? Wait, I hope you, you just check out up. past it. Just hope you check out, check out up you just some dopamine. It. Go to work. Hey, Riley, Riley. Yes? Say if you're like someone like Khan that is extremely horny, and yes. all the things you just said just goes out the window. What do you do then? All what I wait. Repeat that again. Like you're Khan. You're extremely horny. Like yes. It's it's, it's just unbearable. Like you eat like uh, whatever. Reynolds, you're what? one to talk. You have it's you have. It's, it's okay Daniel, to relax. Daniel, Daniel. Yes. Why is Reynolds one to talk? Describe to me why Reynolds is the one to talk, <laughs> and why yeah. you, who sit alone in your room playing Destiny 2 all day, who probably, yes, watches, that. Who probably watches like 130 hours of porn in a week, let, let's My bad. Much. Why is well, Reynolds the one to talk? Hey, no, would no, you no, like no. me to answer your question? I will I'm have just... you know, I will have you know, I have 670 hours, and counting. <laughs> Since I'm a virgin for life, I will never know how it is, but you obviously are not a virgin, right? <laughs> Who? Kalen. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, so just think to yourself, every time you get that urge, or Khan as well, if you are not a virgin, what was what's better? Sitting there, moving your hand, making yourself feel real embarrassed after moving your hand for only a minute, <laughs> or the 10 best minutes of connecting with a woman? I'm like, 30 seconds max. <laughs> Damn, Caleb's got oh, and another like thing, another thing that's really good. Another thing I recommend, Aaron, you know what it is? Just say it for me, just say it for me. What I do know, I recommend? I don't know. I don't know. What were we talking about? What, what, On the line to... And the seven-hour wait to getting our levers wristbands. What? What did I tell you about? What, what? Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Kegel exercises. Oh, ke ke <laughs> Kegel exercises. Yeah. Kegel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I remember this. Yeah, it's it's is good Kegel? for me so that I don't go toilet in the middle of my long runs. <laughs> but it's also good for you know long. Apparently, it's good for long last. I wouldn't oh, know because oh. I'm a virgin. But Riley, yeah. Riley, can I say something? You know, yeah. if you don't jerk off in like a month or whatever, for like a certain amount of time, you know, you do get like wet dreams and shit, by the way. Like yes. your body found a way to exert it. So is that yeah. better, you reckon? I'm not trying just to out, right it out right or now. what? Or anything. But Riley keeps bringing up how he's a virgin. Maybe he's not a virgin. He's just saying that to overcompensate. He's Ooh, hiding maybe it. He just, maybe he just has. Do you really think that I would willingly yes. go up to a woman and talk and just hook up with them? Yes. yes. Am I really yeah. that type of guy? You are. Yeah. You, you, you have the libido of Jeffrey. Yes. Time cut out again. Let's go. Ah! Oh, you have the. Time's cut out. It's compilation. Khan. 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 Yes. What's, what's the next question? Are While we wait for Khan to get that. You said $700 was that to, question, like, to buy a Do you guys believe yeah. that question was adequately answered? I, I believe yes, that question yeah. was more than adequate, adequately answered. Okay, next question. Now, up now? Caleb, yep, Caleb, you. Caleb. Okay, Luke Boxwell once again. How do I orgasm without ejaculating, Riley? Talk to me. Um, it's simple. Stre Cochrane. Firstly, you want to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles. Yep. And then once once you reach that point, the point of nearly reach the point of no return, you want to voluntarily contract your pelvic floor muscles like and then just hold it there for like 20 30 seconds until the feeling passes that's how you keep your sexual energy as well and you can do nah. a whole bunch of other pseudoscience stuff with it 
whether you believe it or not, but I feel like you guys wouldn't want to listen to that. I feel like I, I, I feel this like is Dakunda cast, not preacher cast. No, but I feel like I want to listen to these tips because Luke Boxall has asked, "How yeah. does he do it?" <laughs> And yeah, I, yeah, I just yeah, said it to you. Know, Firstly, you know, want to strengthen up your Riley, pelvic floor muscles. I want, I want the esoteric knowledge that you have. Do I have to put fingers up my ass to do so? Or... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, yeah. That'll just make you go straight away. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you know, Riley. Mm, impressive. impressive. Anec anecdotal evidence from associates of mine. Oh, I don't know what that means. I haven't experienced it Boring. myself because I don't Riley want to. Riley McFarlane associates Riley McFarlane. Yeah, Riley, what does that mean? What you just said? Pardon? What's that? Testing? Anecdotal. anecdotal. Yeah, I don't know what it is. You're not anecdotal. Anecdotal is oh just God. evidence from someone talking. Oh, okay. Someone talking. It's like to when you you're in the middle of a experience. talking and you tell a story. Yeah. Anecdotal oh, story. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's heaps and heaps of resources out there that go into depth about it. Kind of sucks that it's taboo because apparently a lot of <laughs> ancient Egyptian culture really, really, really taught it and emphasised it because that's what the Egyptians were like. They were very hell bent on keeping their libido up and their sexual energy up for creativity and that because you. I don't know if you guys know, but the Egyptians were really, really spiritual, considering that they had fucking cat gods ruling themselves and that, and like some gods and that. They also used to sleep with each other's brothers and sisters. Strange bunch, but they got the job done. Yeah. Like I've never made a song about that called Creeping yeah. Death. <laughs> That's actually a good Next question. Okay. Okay, next question. <laughs> next question. Next question. Next question. Whose turn is it? It's Jordan's turn to ask me one Wait. of the questions. I just really want to say. Uh, Jordan. Jordan Voiku, Nadroj, Dodo. Are you still there? Or are you currently eating bar barbecue ribs? Dirt. Okay, well, we'll skip this question. And no, Jordan... don't skip it. No, no, no. We'll wait. wait for Jordan. We'll wait for Jordan. But Kaylin is going to ask the first question on the second photo. Okay. I want to ask the Kiara one. No. What do you mean? That's You're not, not in mine, though. Okay, Aaron's mum asks, where do you get your active wear from? Uh, where do I get my active wear from? I get a lot of my active wear from my running and orienteering groups so that's half of my active wear my other half is just online shopping from like say real stereotypical brands like street x nike or adidas that's where i get my fitness apparel from but for w more women's running clothes my mum and my sister get clothes from like ecto or under armor and that and a lot of female fitness gym wear brands. also where you buy yours from Gymshark? Because no. when you came no, to Aaron's house... No, I don't wear Gymshark. Be... No, when you I went was to Aaron... my orienteering to... WA train, running, racing yeah, shorts. Yeah, no, that's what my mum was referencing. Much. That's what my mum was when referencing. When you came to Aaron's oh. house for his, to pick Jordan up, you came in some very short shorts. I feel like they yeah, were no. And shorts. you said those were active no, wear. They're... Yeah, they were active wear <laughs> running shorts. Are you sure they weren't just your undies? Yes. Without... No. No. No, they no, were not my undies. No. I do not get why runner shorts are legit just booty shorts. That's just baff baffles my mind. Like personally, I, I don't get um, it why like runners wear skins. Like it's kind of gross to have your your tackle out for all the girls to see. Like yeah, that's just disgusting. Personally, yeah, they need to get the junk out of their trunk though, so it can. Free, uh, they need to get the junk out of their trunk so it can move freely while they run. Because no, no skins. Have through. you ever worn a pair of lycra or skins? Yeah, they're terrible. No, they're what? Yeah, that's what I forgot Bad. my skins, so that's why I was showing the quads off. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah run, but... run a short. If you if you watch the like we world races, yeah, you can legit see their asses, which is quite skimpy. It sucks because a lot of the reasons why. 
women's and men's athletes like get so much attention is because of because sex sells, you know. Yeah. Like having all of these top athletes running around in skimpy clothes, yeah, it's lightweight and that, but it's pretty much yeah. Athletes are basically the new age sex symbols. It's kind of sucks, really. Wow. Like leggings. What? So you do. Yeah. Do you have any pairs of leggings? I mean, it's no. Why would I have it? pairs of leggings? Oh please, I pay for my. Oh my god, I would pay leggings. so much. I would, I would buy you the best Lululemon leggings just so you what? can put them on. <laughs> <laughs> what size are you, by the way? <laughs> oh. Oh. You made me cough up a massive spitball. Um, Hairball. When, when that question, Kaylin, that you want to answer arises, I have some something to add to it that I've just been told. By the way, I've, I'm still sick from the Levers Plague, and it's annoying. Oh, the Levers Plague. What the fuck? How weak's your immune system? How? How you take enough vitamins to sink a ship? I take... It <laughs> takes me two days to beat a virus, but somehow it takes me two weeks to beat a bacteria infection. How long does it take you to beat the COVID-19? Well, I haven't had COVID-19. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, I guess. <laughs> It, yeah, wait. He simply just fine. Okay, Aaron. Is it time for the next question? Question? My question. My Do next question. Riley. Someone is dying. Someone. To okay, who's, who's doing this? Who's doing that? Someone's dying. Oh. Fix your microphone. I already told you before. Fix your microphone. No excuse. Okay, here Who's we go. This? Next, you. Next question. My sister asks, Riley. How do you deal with still looking like a year seven, and how do you deal, and how do you deal with it? For example, do you go to therapy? I'm um, still looking like a year seven. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, well, firstly, <laughs> wow. I'll explain why wild. I still look like a year seven. See, my my father, when he was my age, he looked like a twelve year old too, and same with my sister. We are. We are all late bloomers in that regard. And yeah. Is that why you don't have a sex drive? Pardon? Yeah, but. Is that what why you that? don't have a sex drive? No. Because you're a late bloomer? Um, I. No. I'm going to defend Riley. I don't think he's a late bloomer. I remember in like year right? He had like a full yeah, set of arm My pit. puberty was really <laughs> weird. When I was, tw when I was 13, I had a full f set of armpit hair. Yeah, I still sounded like a child and looked so you, like a so you hit seven it year old you child. Just, so you just hit it and just stopped? You just stopped? Yeah, well, the first thing that happened was growing up it here and then everything, and then you know how puberty goes, it's, everything else you came. Just rope, you just hit a roadblock well, with, like, you know, growing yeah, up. Yeah, the first, the first roadblock, Blue and then all of a sudden, when I was, like, 14 or 15, I just, all of a sudden, yeah puberty happened my balls started to drop i still think my voice is still pretty high pitched but yeah i always, I always remember when um shane smith asked flynn mcguckin if his balls had dropped <laughs> How long a ago very memorable it? moment in my life flynn just running away I, I would yeah run away if I yeah anyways well, back, to, back to dealing with myself look looking like a year seven at 17 yeah I always just say to myself, oh, when I'm 50, I'll still look 35. Whereas everyone yeah, else on their 50, they'll that. look 70. You're hoping. Right, no, that's not true. I remember, like, we were walking or whatever, and after there was, like, this homeless guy with, like, a huge beard and fucking long-ass hair, and you're like, oh, yeah, I want to look like him when I'm 20 or some <sighs> shit like that. Well, I wouldn't mind a, a nice beard. <laughs> yeah, but that guy looked homeless. He was, like, sunburnt as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, so Riley, you, do you think like beards and, and stuff that is? Um, I would, I wouldn't mind it, but I know that that wouldn't be something that I'd have around in the city. Maybe if I was out in the bush yeah. or whatever, I'd have a full-on beard. But mm. here, I'd prefer to have a, a clean cut man. place. Yeah, no, if you're a businessman. So, so yeah. I have, I have my RuneScape clan member. He has tweeted about beards just recently. He has said. Yes. I don't see beards as being masculine. 
I see it as being too lazy and being a degenerate. Fair enough. As, I mean, that's as, that's his okay. opinion. I, that's his opinion. He has his say, but he has a beard. Okay. What What about lazy? What about if the beard's like well trimmed? Yeah. What about a well a well groomed, well trimmed beard? Uh well, he plays RuneScape. He so do, you think, do you think that he has an opinion? He has a he plays RuneScape. He probably has a neck beard. He what does. Is he talking about? Yeah. yeah. I mean, to be fair, I do have a neck beard as well. Yeah. I mean. Like I can I can show you an image of him, like a selfie that he posted just a day ago. Yeah. In I'll, I'll post it in the general chat for for everyone. But, yeah. I mean like Riley oh, oh the green fairies, they're beautiful. <laughs> um, that's oh, him. good old green fairy. Wait. Oh that's him. Here we go. What the fuck? And this is the kind of talked about how beards look gross. Yeah. So he's calling oh, himself God. Like yeah. I get Everyone has their own opinion, but just because I respect his opinion doesn't mean that anyone else might respect their opinion yeah. or his opinion. His, his beard on his cheeks look like my pubes. What the <laughs> fuck? What? That's... He's dead. What? Why is it like his beard's like curly and shit and everything? What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jordan. Jesus so, Christ. Damn, like, we're, we're talking about like Caleb oh Reed Lake God. hair now. Jeez. Shit. Doesn't That's not very nice, Jordan. Do you, I think well, you should apologise to Basement Man. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, after he gets off playing RuneScape. <laughs> basement Man. Okay, scamming people. <laughs> basement Man. <laughs> you know what? This guy's my full respect now. Never mind. <laughs> like that name. You can grow a better beard than you ever will. That guy? Yeah. No, we won't. Yeah, you will. Nah. No yeah. way. I'm European. Yes, no fucking way. Yeah, so am I. Thank you. Alright. We'll see. I probably yeah. won't grow one until like, I'm fucking like 24, 25, 26 fucking probably, I don't know. Yeah, I won't grow my Like some cunts have beards already. I don't understand that. Alright. I think... Who's got the next the, question the next for Next question, me? Daniel. Let's go, Daniel. Hey, am I? Is this the question from um, Bassie? Okay, Bassie asks, or oh, sorry, Bassie Mooshmore four hundred four asks, theories about Mark McGowan and the lizard people. Oh, this is a good one. Um, yeah. See, so Mark McGowan, otherwise referred to as State Daddy, or what? What's his other nickname? <laughs> Mark Mark McLizard. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of opinions about Mark McGowan. I'll get on to Liz about lizard people later. Let's see, Mark McGowan. Well, firstly, during the pandemic, yeah, he was a hero or, or whatever. He shut, he pretty much locked us out of the rest of society who were fought, who was falling apart. And yeah, but it sucks now because he's turning into a little bit of state dictator instead of state daddy. With all of his new law proposals and that, yes, he dealt with COVID very well. Yes, he's building row eight pretty quickly, but he's not building the train line like he promised, and he's not fixing the glooming problem of the healthcare system and the lack of hospital hospital beds and that, and just the weakness of um, WA's healthcare system in general. Riley, I don't know. Is it true that? I don't know if you know, but did the hospital go into code black, which means that there's no beds available? The other um, way? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also, Hunter, thoughts on us not getting an ashes test? I don't watch um, cricket that much. Oh, you're a crap. Yeah, it just sucks, because I feel like the, oh, yeah. all the corporate lobbyists are not happy with Mark oh, McGowan standing up lobbyists. to them, because usually politicians fumble and bend their backwards over for lobbyists for money like like a lot of the Jeez. western politicians do and political parties but for once i feel like that mark mcgowan's actually having a backbone which is pretty rare in politicians the only other pe politicians who have backbones end up being dictators which is pretty sad state that our society's in anyways back to the point my opinion <laughs> on mark mcgowan is he's a pretty good bloke but it sucks because he's got such power in the government. He's 
kind of stuffing himself up a bit here with all of the harsh decisions he's making. Yes, they were good for COVID, but it, all the harsh decisions would be swept under the rug if he was up, if he was fixing the shitty the shitty healthcare system we have in Perth and for like the city and the country and that. And if he built the Ellenbrook train line and airport train line, then he would be state daddy again instead of state dictator. Now, lizard people. Oh, this is pretty interesting. <laughs> heaps and heaps, heaps and heaps and heaps of Facebook finger pointers and <clears throat> and that. And what else? TikTok conspiracy theorists and YouTube conspiracy theorists are uh, really hell-bent on um, alien re reptilian race. I think, like, yeah, I think they're called the Draco reptilians is what all the Facebook finger pointers refer to them nowadays as. There's lots of, there's lots of evidence of that of ancient civilizations like the Egyptians and the Sumerians and all that having lizard like deities being like powerful gods or whatever or like heaps of YouTube people going on about the anarchy and that or whatever and all these things and that but at the end of the day if, if yeah like j just because if I would believe like that they are real doesn't mean that someone could say to me that you're fucking crazy and lost it like, yeah, like, come on, hey, we don't even have, the government hasn't showed us proof of aliens yet, considering the the US government or whatever, like the FBI or whatever, or CIA was meant to release some document about all they know about UFOs or whatever last, well, this last June of this year, but back to the point, I guess, well, I mean, really, it depends, like, are you really going to listen to Facebook finger pointers for re having evidence of reptilians? Or like, would you listen to any prophetic dreams that I have and tell you guys about? No. Why the fuck would you listen to that? Because you haven't seen it in your own eyes and it's just someone rambling on on social media. Like, why, would you, why would you listen to that? But yeah. Just because if I seek an interest in it, whatever, doesn't mean it's, it's real or whatever. That's my opinions on it. But if they are real, then sweet. And if they're as hostile as all the Facebook finger pointers say, then, well, the human race will just obliterate them. That's my thoughts on that. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. 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 Yeah. That's actually interesting, really exciting. Yeah. Wait, were we talking about aliens? Yeah, we were. <laughs> Alright. Wait, so how have you not been listening? Oh, I haven't listened. Yeah. I'm not playing Halo anymore. I know you're going to fucking ask me that. I'm not. Yeah, then what were you doing? I'm spacing out. Were you playing with your cat? Oh, Reynolds, <laughs> check, your, check your snap. I bet your cat yeah. has seen I aliens. I was listening to you talk about politics, and then we started talking about aliens, and I'm like, you've lost me. Yeah? No, yes. we're talking about lizard people. Yeah, yeah we were talking about... Mark Zuckerberg being a lizard man. Oh, yeah, exactly. Fucking yeah. Get rid of it. Because he's a corporate lobbyist. Yeah, and yeah, and realistically, if they if they did exist, then then it's understandable why all the governments and that would keep it a secret. Because you know it would cause mass panic to all of us humans and that. But I yeah, it's just, a, it's just an interesting thought, really. I still don't There's like nothing the, um, deeper about it. Still don't like mm. the government. Mm. Anyway, should we ask a question? Did you guys want me to elaborate a bit more, or should we move on no, to the we... next question? Our next question. So the next question from Spread Drugs. Do you practice yep. human retention? We can just skip yeah. this. We've talked about this for like three times already. Yes, yeah, exactly. I good. Okay, Kalen, where are you? Yes. Ask your question. It's a big moment. <clears throat> now, Kiara asks, uh, thoughts on Hunter harassing girls at Levers? Oh, what? 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 I was there as well as a witness. Wait, oh, what no. the fuck are you talking oh, about? Um, <laughs> to be honest, 
I'm that sorry, Kiara, if this disappoints you, but I have no no opinion on that because I didn't see it with my own eyes. However, if, if that did happen, Hunter, shame on you. You should have a bit, a bit more respect. But then again, I didn't see it with my eyes. There's no evidence that I know of, so why, why would you... Make that accusation, but, but, if, the, but... if the glove doesn't well, fit, it, you must yeah. acquit. If the glove doesn't fit, yeah. you must acquit. <laughs> what are your guys' opinions? Because hey, clearly, wait, 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 I have, I have where no comment. Jordan said, Jordan said that he knew a little bit about it. Yes, um, well, me I have and no Aaron. Comment. Knowing Hunter, he probably, if it did happen, he would be un probably have been under the influence. <laughs> yeah, help. He was. So, yeah, so I really then well. I don't really even know, know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I don't even I don't even like I haven't even surprise. heard of that. You've like seen. someone I have, I have no wild. comment, but I invite the others who have actually have an idea of what went on to have a Lightning comment. To be either. to be honest, I was just too busy annoying to fire at all of Levers. <laughs> <laughs> I had I, I paid no attention to any other drama or what else between the Chat. footy boys or the beginning boys or the just uh, or the brain boys. network a quick shout out shout oh. out shout out to Farah, shout out to matthew palafe yeah mm. shout out to those two boys for putting Blafe. up with me all of levers <laughs> shout out to all the swan christian boys and all to Farah's basketball shout mates for putting up with me max chipper shout out to max chipper yeah shout out to max chipper and the guilford boys it was Yusuf's birthday today? Yeah, happy birthday, Yusuf. I love you, yeah, brother. Runs four cool. laps in 25 seconds. Yeah, no, no big deal. He also blew his own house up today. <laughs> okay, oh. Daniel. Fuck up. You're so racist. You know, like, how they do, like, christenings and shit like that? I and get like, it, because he's from the Middle East. He's become an adult. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, in a, we're in Australia. None of that happens. Who, that's racist. It is very racist. That's like saying, "Oh, you're a white, you're a white person. Oh, go fucking commit a mass genocide on the in on India. indigenous in civilizations yeah. in India and in India, <laughs> go and, go, and go and rape and pillage <laughs> all of the fucking all of the fucking world. Right, go and oh my god, stop talking. Go and there. invent slavery. We're getting That's so like political. saying to us it. white people that I hate white oh, people. Me too. Oh Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that mean you hate yeah. yourselves? I'm not. Yeah. Shut up. I don't identify anyway. as white. Yeah. I identify as Caucasian. Did you guys want to hear a, theor a theory about racism? Why no. it exists? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I really want to. I really I've... want to. Let's go. Uh, firstly, I'll just start off with a question. Do you guys know about the other hominin species that existed? No. Yeah. No, and yeah. we yeah. want to know more. No, yeah, so like, it. yeah, Actually, like, yeah. This is over like the th Darwin's theory of evolution and that, like, different species of humans existed, like, over time. Like, yeah, I think there was, yeah, like, over time, there was, like, say, the mm. Australopithecines and all the Homo species, like, Homo erectus and that. And you'll see that, obviously, we're all Homo sapiens, the dominant. And the only lasting human or homo species, human species left. But if you look at the genetic, the genetic tracking of all the different hominin species over the past million years, you'll see that there was right at the point of time before the homo sapiens have completely flooded the gene pool, there was probably about seven, eight, nine, or ten different other homo human species at the same time having their own separate gene pools over speciation and i believe this is a theory there's no proof that as the homo sapien species migrated over the earth those different homo genes what well, human species were raped and and interbred with the homo sapiens to diverge the reverse of speciation so becoming closer genetically related again instead of further, instead of less genetically related, which causes evolution. So the opposite of evolution. Oh, fuck, I've got into, into myself a hole here. I'll, I'll stop rambling on and go to the point. There was different human species, several different human species. 
Homo sapiens was the most dominant of them all. The Homo sapiens went around the whole world and made themselves a dominant race. But because of all those different human species, there were, that's why we have all the different ethnicities of today. Mm. And yeah, that's why we have racism, I believe. That's a theory. I don't b fully support it. That's just a theory that I thought of just out of my ass. That the reason why we have racism is because of genetically inbuilt competition of survival between the different human genomes, different homo species. Interesting theory. I, I feel like that I completely talked right above the brain, brain level of the demographic of Takunda cast, but if you at least understood five words, what I just said, then congratulations, you're actually smarter than Mr. L my old chemistry teacher. Riley, <laughs> there's like a theory that like some basketball players are like Neanderthals or some oh, shit yeah. like that. Yeah, 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 but like, I wouldn't be surprised if Shaq is one, that fucking guy is huge. There's a, no, there was man. actually a, a human species called Paranthropus robustus that were f basically fucking huge. Basic, yeah, yeah, just full on legit. If you would think of like a full on warrior, that's what the Paranthropus robustus was. Just huge muscles. Yeah. Legit how like you reckon, Hercules. How do you reckon we've overpopulated the Earth though? Like us homo sapiens, if they were like all bigger than us and shit. Is it cause it was uh, because you reckon, Homo sapiens had higher order thinking compared to the Homo Neanderthals and okay. all the other hominin species. And because of that high order thinking and because of how aggressive us Homo sapiens were, we just raped and pillaged all of the other and diluted all of the other human species and became the one dominant race. And taking in all of the other gene pools and genomes of and alleles of all the other human species at that, at that time and making it ours really Bro. that's just a theory though that doesn't mean that i fully believe it it's just a theory that someone else can go believe all right i gotta go thanks i can't wait to hear this thank you riley okay see you caleb, right, see you, caleb. Thanks, have guys. fun bye Bye, guys have a good night everyone bye. All right, well, uh, I think it's time to move on to the... We've, there's only two last questions. There's only two last yeah. questions. Actually, there's three. Aaron, I, I wanted to I'm the last question. question. Okay, perfect. Um, so, right. uh, I, well, I don't understand who's reading Khan. I think you're reading the next... Khan? Yes. I think Khan, Khan is your microphone yeah. working. I think Khan's Khan in asleep yeah. at the moment. I can't. <laughs> Wait, what? You're reading the... Can you see me? You're reading the question now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure my microphone works. It's been on and off. Um, is it by Angel Lloyd Madden? Angel, Angel Lloyd, Lloyd yes. Madden. Yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway. Yeah, is that the music guy? Um, yes. Let me hear the question. I'm excited. Uh, yeah. Favourite kind of box? Question mark, question mark, question mark. What was that? I didn't question. hear that. My favourite kind of is all I heard. <laughs> favourite kind of ass? Question mark, question mark. What? I assume he means favourite kind of ass. Favourite kind of donkey? Ass is in donkey. Yeah. Favourite yeah. kind of donkey. Yeah. Um, the I'll... donkey from Shrek. I like the small ones. <laughs> I like the small ones. <laughs> the donkey from Shrek, because I'm currently like, sitting yeah. at Shrek's home. <laughs> It's all I like Lord <laughs> Okay. Nice. Roll you guys fucking reference to Freckin's love. Yeah. <laughs> Epic Riley. I, sh I showed my dad now. Shrek is love, Shrek is life, and he's scarred for life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got his pedophilia. Haha, <laughs> 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 you should visit my library. Ha ha ha. What? You should what? go to Vietnam. Great segue to the next question. Oh, uh, Aaron's yeah. gonna get swatted. Next 30 minutes. Jordan, your question. All right, Riley. Let's just say, hypothetically, we're all walking in levers right now, you know what I mean? Minding your own business, yada, yada, yada. And, like, a snake, like, bites Khan in, like, the dick or whatever. And, like, it's a <laughs> snake as well. 
Bro, is this... Have you man. already asked me this question? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Can we not talk about the snake bite question? No, yeah, we are. I will gladly talk about the snake bite question. Like, if one of us was going to die, and like you're the only one that knows how he sucked the venom out, and it bit Tony in the dick, would you do it? Um, yeah, because... Like, to it's save not, his life. To save his life, that's the intent. So yeah. it's obviously not homosexual. But you're I'm not getting, what if I'm not, comes at the end? I'm not, I'm not getting pleasure from it. It's not a pleasurable experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. in, my, in my opinion, yeah. and in my feeling, it would be a, to a traumatizing experience, sucking my f my mate's dick to save his life. <laughs> but, Riley, which way would you go around that? Would you put the whole thing in your mouth or just shut the two spots, like on the side or the, yeah. on the front? <laughs> I, I want to On the side. But what if it's been bit on the tip? Okay, okay, hang on. Uh, Let's... L let me set this up quickly. Let's say you have to give him sloppy toppy. You have no time to say no homo. What are you doing? You doing it or no? And you both get pleasure no, from it. Just out of context. What? All right. Out of context. You can't automatically assume that those variables, Hunter. Oh, but Hunter. I'm pretty, that's how science works. You put the variables in there. No. How do you assume? How do you assume? How do you assume that I am having pleasure from? That's rape. It's called a hypothetical. No, that's that Hunter, hypothetical ex thing would not exist. Hunter, this situation sounds like it's been stirring up in your head for quite some time. Like yeah. you think yeah. about this every night. <laughs> yeah, you've been thinking about that question for a lot, Hunter. Ever since yeah. the shed party, you think about snake bites. If it's for my, <laughs> if it's for my friend's me. survival, then that's a different question. However, if it was for seeking homosexual attraction, then that would be fuck. That's obviously gay. And I wouldn't do that because I'm not homosexual. I'd, yeah. So that does I'm that mean you're against them? No, that just mean that just means that us it's the opposite. Okay. <laughs> I support them, but I'm not a part of their community. No. Right. If that makes sense. Um. You can you okay. can support a community and not be a part of it. You're ju you're just a fan. Daniel, what is your thought process here? You're just like a fan. Like, no. you support them, but you no. don't want to be with them. No. No, that's not how it works. Daniel hit the his head. Dan <laughs> Daniel, I think we're operating at a different level here. Just, um, I, just I'm just falling to get off my things... chair. I am falling off my chair. <laughs> but right. <laughs> just, just to get things straight. I um, fell off my chair. I, just, I... just because... Just because you are not, you are straight, doesn't mean that you have an opinion on gay people. I already said that gay people are real. Yes, they're I said, they're humans. I... They're humans. They're legit humans themselves. Like I just said, you're a fan of them. Then you're like a fan. Like you support them. If that's if it. that if that's the th thought process that makes you think that, if that's what you think, then I guess that's how you can put it in your head. Um, I would put I'm, it differently. I would I'm say stuck. like I would say like an associate of the community, not an active member, just a bystander. Um, I've stopped right now. Like I can't get if you're a boy bystander, you're still doing it. You're still a part of it. Yes, exactly. Thank no. you, Febby. Thank you, Febby. Ooh, no, in that's the court not of, how it works, court, Febby. In the, court, in the court of law, if you're watching <laughs> someone get stabbed to death. And you're a bystander. You're an accessory. And you're right? nothing. You're an accessory. <laughs> you're an accessory. <laughs> that means I'm observing what happened. That's I'm not. You're observing the not this room. I'm, <laughs> what the fuck it's are like, you trying to stir like me into, defense, Daniel and Carl? Are court. you trying to? You're, you're trying court, to make right? me say something. You're trying to make yeah, me say something, Riley, but I will not court, like, support. Your defense in court was like, well, I was trying to write this big book you see, and I really wanted the inspiration from what someone getting stabbed would be like. So I just watched, and I took a couple of photos of the dead body too. I, I can show them to you on Where, the phone. Where's Caleb? Fuck this. <laughs> Where is Caleb? Don't I'll say something. I'm getting interrogated. All right, this is so like right. a police interrogation. We There's just fully words right. out of his mouth. Don't save him. I mean, like... We just want to know survive. if you've seen anything. What? Like, <laughs> seen what? Like, how does this relate to the? How does this relate to the main question? 
We're right, taking right, the right, right. Law, lawsuit. Because you're an assessor. Gordon, tell yeah. me the first question again. Defamation against oh, the what, my question? Yes, tell me yeah, the main question again. Sex. Oh, so like, um, if you'd have to save someone's life, if like a snake bit them in like this <laughs> shaft or whatever, how far would you go? Like, would you put your lips just around the specific area or what? Yeah, or I would you just go around the around whole thing specific area. area. And what if, and what if, I don't like, get why um, the position counts. If it's head. if the intent is to save the person's life, then no, then it's then I would do it. But what no, if because the that's venom, the intent of saving my person's venom, life? Right, right. Yeah. What if the venom went inside like his balls and like he had to shoot the <laughs> cum to make the venom come out? That's not how biology works, Jordan. <laughs> no, right, right. It's right. a hypothetical. <laughs> Hypothetically. Right, if it's right, a hypothetical, oh, so now we support hypotheticals, but when I made one, no, no we don't. No, we're not supporting <laughs> hypothetical <laughs> things because that biologically does not happen, Jordan. No, yeah, we're Riley, not going back to the hunter question. No, 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 no. no. Riley, no, Riley, that's only snake. Jordan, there is no hypothetical I situations can't here. Defend myself. There is no hypothetical situations here. Yeah. So, so I can't ask the question. You I already really have your. You're not asking the question. Whoever I know who to call the though. question. And I know who to call question. if I get a snake bite. Who? Jordan. <laughs> He's got my back. He's got my back. Bro, I have my clinic on there and everything. Just treating snake but bites. Theoretically, but theoretically, you would not have to suck that dick in the first place. You would put a bandage around it. And go and, then suck it. and, dri and drive <laughs> to the hospital and get the paramedics to deal with it. You would oh, not and they can suck it with you. But because... <laughs> what are you doing, Jordan? <laughs> no, Jordan, that's not how it works. Imagine you're out in the middle of the bush with no hospitals around. Yeah, well then I would just go to some aboriginals and then get them to deal with it. What if there was what? no aboriginals around? <laughs> No, they would have a remedy for that. No, they wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, would. their remedy would be riding it. <laughs> He's just so gay. <laughs> oh, that's just what that's I had just, to deal with for so long in this that's group. Just, that's, that's an embarrassment to the gay community. You know what I find oh, funny, Riley? So, you know what I find funny? Have yeah. you noticed there's like... A queer undertone in everything Jordan and Khan say. It's almost yes. like, you know, no. undertone, bro. Yes. And Daniel and Hunter overtone. as well. They're, and they're, they're enjoying this. They're, prob they're probably. No. They're, pro they're enjoying this. This is their dopamine rush. This is why I support no porn. Because the porn has made themselves oh, get off to this idea. Yeah, what's going on? to smoky meth. That's my dope. Yeah, okay. So, Riley, Me and Riley, Riley, question, right? We are what? Sorry? Riley? No, what's the next, what's the last question? Was that the last would, question? Okay. No, would you rather me Aaron, be addicted Aaron. to crack? Or oh, wait, no. watch porn? Which one would you rather be addicted to? Both. Anyway. What? What type of question is that, Daniel? Wait, what was the question? They both, they both give you dopamine rushes. Really big dopamine rushes. Yeah, both are both are fucked up for you, but and they both take they both do effects on your health. Because if yes, you do it, but because if you do it too much of it, you get one big right arm and one red rocket. What? <laughs> Why have you put so much thought into this, Daniel? Daniel, you're no more reason. gay than me. Daniel, what the no, fuck? No, no reason at all. No reason at all. If, I'm asking, I'm asking for those a friend, listening right? to I'm the asking, podcast. I'm this is the effect of porn addiction. I'm asking for. A oh, friend. okay, Riley. To the to those listening to the podcast, this is why I support to quit Riley, watching. What porn. I'm saying is, I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, for one. No, friend, you ask that your question yourself. Um, no, I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Jack Ryan, to be more specific. <laughs> Jack Ryan. Yeah, he asked this question originally. It, yeah. Aaron, is that true? Yes. Okay, Jack. I I would completely ruin my principles and watch porn.
because I believe that has a less dopamine rush than cocaine. Not coke, meth. What the fuck is... Daniel, you can't be... Co- you said crack was Jack's first question. Wait, crack is... Yeah, crack and not meth. Crack not only... Crack and meth not only have... Cause a massive dopamine rush. They cause a whole bunch of biochemical reactions that fuck up your body. That's what I'm saying. Which one would you rather be addicted whereas, to? Whereas, whereas, like, tolls on your health. What? Well, which I'm one would I be rather both, addicted though. to? Neither. Yes. No, but if you had to choose one, though, in what situation would I have to choose one, Daniel? <laughs> if someone put a gun, gun on head. my head, Daniel. Uh, in if you of, and Jack no. Ryan put a gun on my head, in, no, let's just pull stuff out of Midland. our ass here. No, let's in, just the, pull... in, in the back alley <laughs> of Midland, <laughs> when the you know with the what's it called? They've got that um that street behind the um adult shop that says massages here. That alleyway <laughs> by the train station. Midland is a fun place. Midland is not dodgy. What happens? If, no, listen. What happens if you accidentally stepped on a needle? Well, then you would just yeah. go to the hospital. My but it was day. full. It was full. Yeah, but... You stepped on it and it injected into you. Why are you pulling these hypothetical questions out of nowhere? What next and thing now... you're going to say? That was another question from Jack Ryan, eh? Oh, yeah, Riley. That was my personal question. What, what would you do if you accidentally stood on a needle that was full that injected into you? I would just call the ambulance. But you'll, you'll be looping in like five minutes. Yeah, still... Do you just run around Midland enjoying it? No. <laughs> I would call the ambulance. Become a Midland local and embrace it? <laughs> yeah. Well, of course I'd have to embrace it while the ambulance come to save my life. You're saying nah. you do, you do meth. What the fuck did you pull that out of your ass, Daniel? No. Okay. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> What made you think that me calling the ambulance to save my life if I hypothetically was barefoot walking around Midland and a full needle stabbed me in the foot and injected me with supposedly drugs that could kill me? What makes you think that all of a sudden, just because I said I would call the ambulance to save my life and have to to, embrace it and have to embrace embrace it, it? Yeah, because I'd have to, to wait for the ambulance to come. You said you'd embrace it, so then that means you'd get addicted and you'd do it again. Do you know what embrace means, Daniel? No. No, yes. you don't. <laughs> Let me search up the definition of embrace no, Daniel, for you, Daniel, Daniel. Daniel, put it in a sentence. Put embrace <laughs> in a sentence. <laughs> now let me think of a sentence using embrace. Riley embrace the crack cocaine. What the f- <laughs> Daniel, here's the definition of embrace for you. Accept a belief, theory, or change willingly, enthusiastically. Fuck, I fucked myself over there. <laughs> <laughs> How did Daniel not know the word, but yet he still <laughs> fucked me up over there? You got <laughs> gaslit by fucking Daniel Wilson. I got gaslit by Daniel Wilson. Let's change the word from embrace to no, endure. It's embrace. It is embrace. You embraced it. You said you would embrace it, meaning you would do it again. No, that's not what, what it means. Embrace means. Embracing <laughs> means enjoying the, in having to put up or enjoy with the experience. What? Yeah. Yes, yeah, you enjoy it. Enough is endure. At a, at a specific point in time, embrace doesn't mean do it again. Okay. It so most word. people who embrace doing crack cocaine do it again <laughs> because they want the effects again, so they can embrace most it people, even further. Who is most people? Name drop them. Name drop it. Yeah, you geese. My <laughs> uncle. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel, can I ask you a question? Yes. Did you pass your waist? Yes, I did, actually. <laughs> I passed with flying colours, to be exact. You did? Yes. No wonder why you're asking such sophisticated questions to me. I know. And no wonder why I'm stumbling, stuffing myself up and sh- shooting myself in the foot. You, you're just like Sean. You and Sean didn't pass twice. Oh, really, Daniel? Sean couldn't get past his math ulna and his writing ulna. Yeah, well, like, like poor Sean. I didn't have to do ulna at all. I got 
bar nine in hmm. Napland, so I didn't yeah. have to do owner. You know what this is really, really nice about? Yeah. Daniel going to Sean's house. <gasps> yeah. Yes. To Sean's here's house. A good, here's a good topic. Best experience of my life going to Sean's house. Cannot lie. Did, did Sean have a snake in his house? Uh, no. <laughs> he brought out of date cokes out. <laughs> out of date cokes. Oh, uh, no. What I love about Sean, what Aaron posts on his story when Sean says, Oh, what song is that? That's my favourite. I fucking love Sean. Is that like Sean's party <laughs> or something? Or what? Um, no, Sean, I have been invited to Sean's 18th. No, that was Kiara's party. Sean has an 18th. He didn't invite me. Next year. We're all going to rock up. Oh, um, you guys didn't get invited to Jake Beck's 18th, I bet. I fuck, don't want to be invited to that. Yeah. I bet you weren't invited to his year seven uh, Halloween party. I was invited yeah, to his year didn't seven Halloween so. party. Um, no. Going to his house the other night, we we were on a group chat and we just said to Sean, we're coming to your house. And that was it. We just showed up to his house. That's not, not very nice. No, uh, did you guys do much. like a workout he session had, with no, Sean? Connor Conduit told us to come over. Connor, or, Connor was telling us to come over. Yeah. So he Daniel, came Daniel, over. Daniel. He tried to keep us outside. He tried to put like a uh, a table over the fence so we could eat pizza with him through the fence. It Why was, would uh... he just not let you in? Is that because, because you showed up to his house uninvited? No, because his mum has cameras out the front watching. Oh. <laughs> so he doesn't do anything spe- He doesn't do Wait, anything sure. special. Sure. Yes. He has cameras at the front of his house. His mum has cameras around the house. Yeah, she takes no precautions. <laughs> I mean, she takes any. She doesn't, she, doesn't... Any hool... she doesn't want any hooligans showing up. She doesn't. Why like, well, you guys are um, uh, being so mean to Sean's friends and Sean? Like he's a very respectable man. But and the you only pro- friends. Okay, the only right. problem is <laughs> Sean lives. Sean is a respectable Sean man. Sean lives bro. in Wollaston. Nobody is going to Wollaston. I would. <sighs> no. But no, who had, it's like a 40 minute drive for, mo- for most of you. Who is coming to Wollaston? Right. It's only Jordan reasonable Wizzle. for probably me, me and Hunter because I have a five minute drive to his house. Ah. Daniel. Wait, where's Wollaston, Daniel? Daniel? It's up the hill. Just Next past to Kalamunda. Yeah. Wait, so, so, yeah, why wouldn't most people go? That's not that far, is it? For no, all of no, them being up in like. Uh, to live in and oh, yeah, like that's that. actually fair. They gotta cross that river. Yeah, yeah. The cross the borders. Yeah. No, yeah. Kalamunda is not that far away. High, High, High Wickham is the border. <laughs> you reckon I could swim on the river all the way to um Oh no, the river stops. Wait, he's asking the question. If they can Where, swim. Daniel? Daniel. No, 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 it keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going. Yeah, but you can't swim up fucking Bell's Rapids. Watch me. Oh, uh, you, you can lose there. That is where you fail. If you do it in the middle of winter, you're dead there. Yeah. Watch me. Oh my god, I can I can get the same. I can travel travel all the way out to Kalgoorlie. In on the same river. Kalgoorlie. Don't think so, mate. Mm-hmm. I don't, don't know what you're think, talking I about. I do not think so, Daniel. Well, all I of the it trees were chopped maps. off, Daniel. Daniel, all of the trees Daniel. were chopped off. <laughs> Get 300 years ago by our settlers, so that river would not work, buddy. That river would have dried up hundreds of kilometres before that. Cringe. What, mate? Yeah, uh, cringe. Oi, Riley, can you defend yourself? Why did you end up sending, like, swats of kids to this group chat saying you hate blacks? Why did you do that? <laughs> proof. That's a loaded proof. question. Where's the proof? <laughs> Why did you do that, Riley? Riley, defend yourself. Why did you do that? Receipts, Jordan. Receipts. Why did you say death to the old Jews? This is a lot. This is a lot coming from a man named Turbo Fisto. Yeah, Yeah, this is a lot for a well-worn racist. Fair enough. I'm going to fuck myself, whatever. Jordan, why would you give me a fake allegation like that? Without any proof. (laughs) Yeah, you should be sorry for defaming me. Aaron, should I go get a chocolate sundae? You should not. I've... Okay. Aaron, I feel I'll like we tomorrow. should move on to the next topic of interest. There is no more topics. Is <laughs> yes, that there, is. there is. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Daniel, what are your thoughts on Real Talk? <laughs> I 
I know you did not <laughs> ask me, but Fucking Real Car silent. is a very good man. He's a top yeah, wait. bloke. Who doesn't like Real Car? Oh, he's gone yeah, who doesn't? He's a good bloke. He's gone no, I'm being serious. Like, what the fuck? He's never done anything wrong. Yeah. Like, honestly. Jordan. Yeah. something wrong. Yeah, but real car seems like an angel. He always waves at me when he's in his car. He's a nice man. Sometimes he waves a few times too many. That's <laughs> not nice. <laughs> Are you saying he's overstaying his waves. welcome or something? Or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Read into it a bit more, Jordan. <laughs> oh, wow. Sometimes he waves a bit too much. Uh, waves a bit too much at me. Maybe over a popular messaging app. With a yellow logo. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You boy, okay. Grindr. No, you fucking so dickhead. Hunter, you're on Grinder. Come on. <laughs> oh, I thought better. I thought uh, have you guys seen Sean's big dick on um U by the way? That's not very nice, Jordan. Wait, what <laughs> no, about Sean on U boy? I have No, apparently he sent some random shit. I have that pic. pic. Do you want it? And it happened like a few weeks ago. No, you... I haven't seen it, and I don't want to see it. Do you guys want it. the photo? I, get I it do. Right of there. course I do. Damn do fucking question. It. I do not Sean's, believe it. Sean seventeen. Um, no, yeah. Riley, it has happened though. Riley, it has. Make a make a private chat if you really want to see this. Cause Sean I... seventeen, Daniel. Oh, post in the Tacunda cast. Yeah. Do you want me to no. put it in general? Do you want me to put it in yeah. general? Yeah, Daniel, put it in general. Daniel, Sean seventeen. You basically yes. have child. Yeah, Daniel, uh, you no, have child. Eighteen, you sixteen, and birth. You do no, you do no. That's Hunter. You because you're a because you're a. Oh, wait, no, you're right, Dan, you're right. Maybe I will not send it. Yeah, send it. yeah maybe you should wait. delete it. I'm not cutting that. I'm not cutting that. It's gone. Yes, you are, Aaron. I'm not cutting it. And I'm going to keep in the real cup part, too. You've been blocked. Okay, so I've got a question for everyone. Correct. If you could see Chevy starring in one movie, what movie would he play the leading role best in? Go, go in bad. order, go in order, go in order. I definitely Super think, bad. I definitely think... Super bad. I, I definitely think that Chevy would star best in Steven Seagal's movie, Sniper Special Ops. He would be the fat sniper. That <laughs> shoots from the shoulder. Oh, no, I got a it's like the gun is above his shoulder. Now, Daniel, what, what movie do you believe Chevy would fit best into? I feel like, uh, uh, um... Come on! Come on! Chevy would fit very oh. good into Cars 2. I was gonna say, you're not allowed to say Star Wars. Cars 2 as the spy. I don't, okay. have not watched Cars 2. Oh, wait, maybe, but, I don't know. Careful before Cars car steals it. Cars okay. What? Wait, what? Oh no, I just want to say like a racist movie before you say it. <laughs> uh, I feel like Chevy would be best as uh, Seth on Superbad. Okay. Wait your turn, Riley. Anyway, Seth. Uh, what movie? Um, I haven't watched it, but uh, I saw a picture, like a poster of the movie. Uh, the guy in Jack Black in Nacho Libre. <laughs> I can see Chevy doing that. I can see Chevy playing a very racial Mexican. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, can I, is it my turn? It's Khan's it's turn. No, it's my turn. Okay, go Khan. Me, personally, I could see Chevy doing a lead role for uh, Backdoor Slots 9. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's three characters in that. Ooh, they call him Long John Black Balls or whatever. Uh, and then there's the, uh, then there's the, shut up. We're going with it. Uh, then there's the schoolgirl, and then there's Chevy, who's watching <laughs> this unfolding. So, uh, I feel like Chevy would do pretty neat. In that. Oh my god, this is actually real. This is yeah, real. you're welcome. All right, can I talk about a, just a, a slightly younger Chevy? Uh, a, a slightly younger Chevy? Yeah, Chevy from like a few years ago. Uh, sure. Because I think child actor Chevy would have made a really good rally in the um, 
Uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty spot on. <laughs> yeah. But, um... Oh, what was my example for right now, Chevy? I fucking lost it. Move on. Um, well, don't move on then. Isn't it Rory? Sit in cucking silence. Um, my turn. <laughs> it is... w- um, probably... I said this before. I'll say it again. Seth on... Su- the Chevy would play best as the character Seth on Super Bad. Super bad. Okay. Pretty nice. Yeah. Turbo Fisto right. racial Me. slurs. I think <laughs> racial slurs. I think Seth would be good in the movie Wait, Mac and Seth? Devin go to high school. Uh, Seth, sorry, Seth? 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 Oh, Scott fucking... Bay or Chevy Hawkins. Chevy Hawkins, there you go. That's it. In just a stoner movie. Yeah. Amazing. Just a Chevy Hawking doing like I don't know, a fucking joint in the garage or some shit. I think that'll be pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, while well, peeing like on Cornelius. someone's window. Oh, okay. I can get behind that. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, Alan Reynolds. Alan Reynolds. Alan Reynolds, is your microphone working or are you still not talking? He's touching his doodle. He's yeah. busy. No, um, I either said American History X or Fat Pizza. <laughs> Have you been in Ghost Rex, like the kid or the... We, we, we know who. We know who. Oh, the but... guy. The, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd make a pretty good American Psycho, actually. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Have you seen him? That's a joke. Psycho? It's a fucking joke. No. Yeah, yeah. Alright, what's the next topic of discussion? I think the last topic really is... I, I think we should be discussing Gobi, but I don't want to because he's not here. And yeah, like don't give him the fucking advertisement. No, really, don't give him the advertisement. That has really, yeah. really like, upset me that he didn't rock up today. Yeah. Very disappointing. So I think, Riley, let's talk, you know, just about you with swimming teaching. What's it like? Hold on, I'm going to swap device. Okay, he's going to the swamp uh-huh. device. <laughs> he's going to devices. the swamp. He, no, he's going to the swamp device. Oh, it's like when in. Um... Okay, he's back. Everyone, shut up! Don't talk about him anymore. Okay. Can you see me? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. What's my? <laughs> What's the topic of interest again? Um, your uh, interest. Yeah, can I first introduce our sponsor, though? Or should I do it after? I think it's a bit late for that. Uh, no. Uh, this is this is Riley McFarlane we're talking about. We have all the time in the world. <laughs> Anything for you, hon. Yeah, exactly. Quick sponsor so, plug. Yes. Quick sponsor plug. Quick, quick, quick sponsor, sponsor plug, I suppose. Quick sponsor plug. I open my phone. I see Aaron's search story. I see a photo of the king in my days, mate. This Boys, episode. Oh, here, All right, let me plug our sponsor of this episode. This episode is sponsored by Street X, the up and coming brand in Perth. Street X just released a new December apparel called They Know, with various colorways of shirts and shorts and other clothing. My personal favorite apparel of theirs is their Street X Run Club release. As an avid runner myself, I enjoy wearing their comfortable clothes. The CEO of Street X, Gucci Smoothie, is a powerful figure in Perth City and is a role model for the new generation of youth. He's an icon and a role model for all small businesses and ensures that all of his products he sells is manufactured and shipped from his warehouse in Perth. Be sure to use the promo code they know for a free pass to the front of the line behind the VIP members of Street X Boxing Day sales in store. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure we will. All it's a pleasure. Yeah, I'm sure we will all buy Street X after this. Anyone yeah, ever told you? Has anyone? Told you? I'm never wearing Street X in my life. You can quote me on that. Okay, I'm removing that. Yeah. What the fuck? You prick. 
<laughs> yeah, but because that's you why you go to really Boab. And... You know what's really funny? He says he never wears trainings in his life, but he's been wearing the same shirt that has 400 holes in it since like, the start yeah. of the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucking am, you And he you hasn't lost it. And I have watched, watched it. it. You went to the no, pub. you haven't. You went to the pub in Margaret River with that shirt, and everyone was looking no, I had at a, you. I had a jumper on, Aaron. Everyone was looking at you. I had a jumper on. No, yeah, you're that's about. why you should buy. We had jumper ons because we had to hide the fucking wristband. Remember? Yes, yeah, that's why you should buy from Street X so that you actually have long-lasting clothes. Oh my god! Has anyone ever told you you have a really tough? Soothing, reassuring voice, and when I kiss you. Who? Oh. Anyone ever told you that? Kalen. No. What? 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 What was the Alright, what's my. What's your thoughts on me being a swimming teacher, guys? Um. Good on you. I'd like to see you in shorts, please. <laughs> and wet. That too. Oh, that's pretty boring. He has his shirt off, it's good for me. You're fucking boring. I just want to mention, um, before we make our goodbyes, um, that Takundacast, I know we're leaving, but we do have the merch drop, the final merch drop. It is the Takundacast Leaders Meetup merch. It is available on my Redbubble, which will be linked in the description. We've got two designs. We've got the Chukunda Castle Leaders Meetup at Sinjani's house um, design. And we also have the Chukunda Castle Leaders Party House Classic. Kaylin, fix your microphone. You completely ruined the plug of our merch. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you have, he you have violin. He ruins the advertisement and then he goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined the only chance of this podcast becoming successful. <laughs> Getting money. Yeah. Yeah, this, 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 is, thank you. this is this is going all into Aaron Tarek's pocket. <laughs> all 17 all cents this video will make. All of it goes into Said that we said the M word. Oh my god, I just I got back. No, it's it's a previous yeah, thing. It's a previous thing. Yeah, it's oh, a, it's a, from the old it's a previous problem. When the host of the show was here, <laughs> when the host of the show was present, it was an issue. Yeah. yeah. And then you kind of just snowball. One person says it, and then Luca Saliba says it. Oh, <laughs> just goes downhill. Just... Pretty much. <laughs> Has Carson been an ep- Has Carson been a guest or a host? No, he's, of been, he's been podcast? lined up to be on every episode. But hasn't he? He was on one, and his mic didn't work. Oh yeah, I remember actually. <laughs> I think that was episode three, I believe. Get get. Uh, um. Also, one final question: uh, Thoughts on Terry Doyle vaping? Yeah, I saw that. I just saw that. Um, I, I was said that when my mic was muted like ten se- like um, ten minutes ago. I was like, I know. Terry Doyle is vaping. No, it came out one minute. Mute. Shut up. I said it when it was come out ten seconds ago. So new video dropped. New video dropped. Uh, Terry Doyle vaping, um, pretty cool. Hear him listening to some Samoan music. Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone that is that's the end of. Episode 5, the final Chukundacast episode with special guest Riley McFarlane. Thank I think you, we should Riley, do. for being on the Thank show. you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for answering the questions. Sorry, breaking news, breaking news. Josh has been turned 18. Oh! Josh has been turned 18. Sound the amber finally, alerts. He's finally <laughs> legal. Who? Josh Finn. Oh. Doesn't mean his girlfriend is. Everyone sound your Amber Alerts. 
That was a low hanging fruit. You completely ruined the spot. <laughs> That's a low hanging fruit. <laughs> okay. Just Daniel's idea. He fucking okay. brought it up. Well, thank you for that interjection. Um, we're yeah. all gonna say goodbye now. Thank you, Daniel, Bebby, Khan, Hunter, Riley, Turbo Fisto, Kalen, Kalen Reynolds, Kalen, Kalen the Ace Cinemas workout. Um, workout. Caleb yeah. Breed was here too. Caleb Breed was here too. Um, let's say, let's say hello to Luca. Hi Luca. Hi Luca. Hi, Luca. Hello Luca. G'day. <laughs> shout out to Max Chipper. Shout out to New Swift. Shout out. Matthew Falafe to Bara. Shout out to Ben Sorge. Um, shout out to Chevy. Shout out to Caden. Shout out to Four Seasons. Shout out to Leavers 2021. Shout out to The Zone. Red Frogs. Shout out the to zone. Red Frogs. Shout out to Red Frogs. Yep. Shout out to The Red Frogs. Shout out to The Red Frogs. Thank shout you, out everyone. Shout out to the condoms that saved Riley's virginity. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Thank you everyone for right. watching. That's too far. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Have a good night. I'm sorry if you watched this to the end. Bye. I'm sorry if you. Thank you for this. having me on the podcast.